Hello friends and welcome back to my cottage. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created an elegant tablescape for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is just next week and if you host the holidays in your home like I do here at Caudill Cottage, then you're probably busy running around, meal prepping and planning and getting those last minute decor items put up. Uh, for your friends and your family to enjoy when they come to your home this year. So if that's the case, then this is the video for you. If you've already got your Christmas decor up, that's okay too. You can still leave all of that up and just create a Thanksgiving table if you would like. Some people don't uh, set up their family table until the last minute because they have little ones running around and that's usually how it is in my home too. You don't want them breaking the fine china or anything like that. Uh, so if you plan to decorate your table either this week or next week for Thanksgiving, that's fine and you're not too late. There is still Thanksgiving and fall decor out there. And because it's so late in the season and everyone has started decorating for Christmas, you can find some of those items at really great uh, prices. So some fall and Thanksgiving decor is already 75% off in some stores. So sometimes decorating at the last minute isn't such a bad thing. So come along with me guys. I'm gonna be giving you some uh, designer tips and some inspiration. I'm gonna be showing you how to properly set up your table. Uh, to enjoy a good meal. I'm gonna be showing you the do's and don'ts and how to create just that peaceful, relaxing atmosphere at your Thanksgiving table this year. Also, I love gathering and getting inspiration from you guys as well. I still love learning uh, and I'm not ashamed to say that even though I'm an interior designer, I still read and study and uh, look to social media for uh, inspiration myself as well. So I love to see what you guys are doing. So in the comments, please post some pictures of your Thanksgiving tables or your Christmas table, whatever you have set up so far. And let me see how you've done that and uh, just kind of some of the things that inspired you this season for your table. I would like to in the future when you guys share uh, decor pieces or uh, things that you have set up in your home, when you share those with me uh, in future videos, I want to be able to uh, tag you guys in those and maybe put some of your inspiration into my videos as well. So it'll be a good way for you guys uh, to also get some exposure as well and to show off some of your decor and all of that. So please share those with me, tag, uh, tag me in those videos, tag me in those photos. You can also follow me on Instagram at Caudal Cottage underscore 737 and you can share photos and things with me there as well and I'll also be doing shout outs on my Instagram as well and sharing some of your decor and your interior design inspiration on my Instagram also. I also have an Instagram page for my baking. So I shared in previous videos that I do love to bake. I make wedding cakes, birthday cakes, all that. I've also, uh, you know, hosted some birthdays and baby showers and weddings and things like that uh, where I do all of the design, but I also do all of the baking. So you can follow me on Instagram at the blonde baker um, 737 on Instagram as well. And when you bake up all of those holiday goodies this year, tag me over there on the Blonde Baker. I wanna see what you're creating and what you're doing, especially since this is the season for baking. So again, share those ideas with me. I love gaining inspiration from you guys. I love talking back and forth with you guys and just you know, having new friends and having community where we can share design, share ideas, and also share some really good recipes and food. Uh, so again, drop those pictures, drop those comments, and let me know what you guys are doing this holiday season. So grab yourself a cup of coffee or grab yourself some hot apple cider, which is my favorite this time of year, and sit back and relax and come let me show you how to put together the perfect table for Thanksgiving.
Okay, friends, I wanted to start off with a little shopping trip to Hobby Lobby to get all of my faux florals for the centerpiece for my table. I also bought pumpkins and I bought an adorable stone vase to make a floral arrangement for the centerpiece for my table as well. I got all of my candles and my candlestick holders from Hobby Lobby as well. So I started out by placing a runner across the middle of my table. It's just a little tan, um, kind of like burlap looking runner. And I pretty much keep this runner year round. It kind of matches everything. And then I added this stone vase and I took some of those florals that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and just made a simple yet elegant fall arrangement in this stone pot. So when you're creating floral centerpieces for your table, you want to make sure that for one, they're not too tall that you can't see your guest. Since my floral arrangement is tall because the stems are so tall, I decided to uh, kind of balance it out by making it thin so that I can still sit across the table from my guest and still see through the floral stems. I'm able to see my guests and able to carry on a conversation over dinner. Next, I just added some greenery for my base. Uh, this faux greenery, uh, you've also seen me put on my fireplace. It hangs from my fireplace mantle. I always use that as a base. And then I just go in and I layer some other florals on top of that. So I have my French gray uh, eucalyptus plants. I have some green eucalyptus. And then I have a kind of a burnt orange colored eucalyptus as well. I love eucalyptus. I think they're just so elegant looking and especially to go on the table. I also layered in some uh, pine cone branches and some acorn branches. And then I also used some potpourri sticks such as cinnamon sticks and things like that just to kind of scatter throughout the middle of the table. And it also made uh, my table smell really great as well. Next, I'm going in and adding my candlestick holders. So I told you that I purchased all of my candlestick holders from Hobby Lobby, but I also purchased some of the gold ones from Target. The uh, candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby, however. And then I purchased these cute little, um, they're a brass copper looking metal pumpkin candle holder. And I just have a battery lit candle in the center of them. I placed them on each side of my floral arrangement. And I just love displaying these each year uh, for Thanksgiving and even for my fall decor. And then of course I have four candlestick holders on each side of my floral arrangement as well to add balance. I also have some um, kind of darker colored candlesticks as well. I love using different colors of candlesticks and different heights as well. Again, creating uh, that symmetrical balanced look on both sides. Next, I'm coming in and I'm just adding some pumpkins that match my color palette that I picked for fall and that match some of the florals in my vase. Next, I'm setting my placemats. I got this little, um, it's kind of a twine placemat and then I have gold chargers on top of that. And then I found these beautiful pumpkin plates. They are real plates. All of these items are from Hobby Lobby as well. And of course they were all 50% off because they were um, in the fall line. 
So these plates were regular $15. And of course I got those half off. So it's a great steal. And again, for the holidays, I love using real plates versus paper plates because it adds that elegance to your table and just gives it that designer and that high end look. And your guests will be really impressed that you're eating off of real plates and not just paper plates. Next, I'm taking these linen napkins that I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'm taking this uh, pumpkin, it's a pumpkin floral pick. I'm just putting a loop in that pick and I'm gonna use this as my napkin ring holder. So I'm just folding my napkin up on each side and then just kind of running that through the loop that I made on my pumpkin pick. And it just created the cutest napkin ring holder. The uh, branches are kind of made out of grapevines and it adds that texture and it brings in some of that wood that I also love to add throughout my home. So the linen and then the wood texture was just perfect and created so much elegance, so much warmth and so much coziness to the table here. Next I'm going in and adding my wine glasses. You always want to sit your wine glasses to the upper right hand side. I'll not be adding forks and spoons and all of that today. As a matter of fact, I'll take these wine glasses away after this video because my kids will be trying to play with them and drink out of them if I leave them up. But you always want to place your uh, knife and your spoon on your right hand side along with your wine and your water glass and then you want to place your salad fork and your dinner fork on your left hand side. And now that it is daylight and the sun is shining and our lighting is a little bit better in the dining room, here is a glimpse of the table all set up and ready for a beautiful Thanksgiving meal with our family and friends. I also added my sage green uh, salt and pepper shakers to the table as well. I love the candles for added light and added ambiance. I think lighting is important at the dinner table. And again, it just gives off that elegance, but also that coziness and that warm glow. Here, my flames are a little bit close to my floral arrangements, but they're not close enough to melt or cause a fire. So you also want to be careful um, when putting them next to faux florals or even real florals as well. Make sure you're safe with your candles at the dinner table. So again, I have my pumpkins which represent harvest and fall and all the things that Thanksgiving stand for. I've got my layers of textures with um, the placemats and then the wood uh, pumpkin picks. I have my stone for the pots that my centerpiece is in. I stuck with my color palette all throughout. And I also made sure that all of my decor uh, was low or that I could see around it and see through to my guest. Again, the dinner table is all about not just a good meal, but also good conversation. So make sure you're able to carry on conversation with your guest. From the Cottle family to your family, I hope you guys have a very blessed Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you so much.
much friends for taking time out of your busy day and watching today's video. I hope that you left with some inspiration and some tips for your own homes and your own spaces. Thank you for following, subscribing, and for all the support that you've given me during my time on YouTube. I could not do this without you guys. God bless and have a great day. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 11.